is the condition of my Syrian hamster cage after about a month of use. Even the legs of the floor had been bitten by hamsters until they broke. So today we will clean and upgrade the cage. Hamsterium Hi everyone, Cindy here. Still on the Hamsterium channel, the unifying channel for hamster lovers. Today we will clean the cage as well as change the inside setup. Some parts of the damaged cage we will replace with new ones, including cooling sand bedding that has been mixed with garbage. We will also replace with a new one. Lift all the wooden bedding and clean it. Place it in the tub and later we will reuse some of it that is still clean, so that the scent of the hamster that owns the cage is still there. I do this so that the hamster doesn't panic and it's easier to adapt. Because the hamster in this cage is still a two-week-old baby with one parent. Look! The mother Syrian hamster came out to check the situation because of the noise. I hope she is not disturbed by this cleaning activity. Here I put thicker wood for the additional floor and stairs, so that it lasts longer when bitten by the hamsters. After arranging the floor, then we give the wooden bedding. We mix it with a bit of the old wooden bedding. Next we will give mixed food containing seeds. I place it in a terracotta container to absorb moisture so it doesn't turn moldy. We fill it with walnuts, mung bean crushed dry corn. Just a little because it's hard. I usually soak it first when I want soft food. Then, sunflower seeds. This is their staple food because I grow it myself. Peanuts. Long bean pieces. And the last one is whimsy. We put it on the top floor. Next, we will make a sand bath. The container is made of coconut shell. in the corner of the room. Next, we place the running wheel. My Syrian hamster doesn't really like to run. Very different from my winter white hamster who can run all night on his wheel. Even so, I still put it in the cage even though it is rarely used, more for decoration. Next, we will give water. Don't forget that before we give a stone as a container weight. I refill this water container every two days. Finally, this is the final result of upgrading the hamster cage setup this time. Hooray! Looks pretty right? Actually, I was forced to clean this cage outside of the actual schedule because this cage contains a mother and baby hamsters who are still small but are very dirty. That's why I cleaned the cage as well as upgraded it. It looks clean and comfortable. We will upgrade the cage again maybe in the next month or so because by that time their children will be old enough. Finally, I decided to throw away the wooden logs for their nests because it looked too cramped. Hope they don't get angry when I throw away their house. So sad. Later, I will make a new house, even though the shape is simple, just for them to take shelter during the day. Stay healthy always, my little hamsters. I hope you can grow up safely. I hope you enjoy the video on my journey to caring for hamsters. Thank you.